Hello everyone, welcome to Infijan. In this very very exciting video of factorial equations, we'll be solving 5 times x factorial plus x square equal to x power 4. While solving this problem, we'll use factorial notation, recursive formula, logical arguments, and by manipulation, we'll conclude our result. So let's get started by considering the domain of given equation. As you all know, x factorial is defined when x is whole number means x can be integer beginning it is from 0 1 2 3 up to any number this is what we know okay so let me consider 5 x factorial to lhs and otherwise terms would be right hand side so i will write 5 x factorial equal to x power 4 minus x power 2 okay so i can take x square common from rhs so it will give us x square minus 1 okay let me take the difference of a square formula so difference of a square formula as we know a square minus b square can be written as a plus b times a minus b so I will write x square as it is, x square minus 1, it would be like 1 square. So it is x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now LHS. For LHS to expand, I would explain the recursive formula. What is recursive formula in factorial notation or in factorials? That is n factorial we can write in its recursive form this is recursive formula if it is required then we can write n factorial as n n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial and so on in this way we can write so left hand side would be 5 times x x minus 1 x minus 2 factorial okay now see i can cancel or i can divide both sides by x x minus 1 so let me divide but after that i have to check whether x equal to 0 and x equal to 1 that should not be the solution of original equation so let me check first I will put x equal to 0 in our equation. So if I am putting x equal to 0, I am writing here x equal to 0, then it would be 5 times 0 factorial. So 5 plus 0 is equal to 0. So that is not true. So correct. x equal to 1. 5 times 1 factorial. So 5 plus 1. Is this equal to 1? No. So that means we can divide. So I can cancel x x minus 1. I can cancel this one. This one also. So what is left? Let me write 5 times x minus 2 factorial is equal to x times x plus 1. Now I will give substitution. I will put substitution as x minus 2 equal to y so we have required x and x plus 1 towards right so x would be equal to y plus 2 and x plus 1 would be equal to y plus 3 so i will put all the values in the given equation equation will convert into 5 times y factorial equal to x y plus 2 x plus 1 y plus 3 okay so i will expand rhs so 5 times y factorial equal to if i will expand this y times y y square plus 3y plus 2y 5y 2 times 3 6 okay y square plus 5y plus 6 
लेट मी राइट हेयर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स ओके नाउ आई विल यूज रिकर्सिव फॉर्मूला इन प्लेस ऑफ वाई फैक्टोरियल आई विल राइट फाइव टाइम्स वाई इंटू वाई माइनस वन फैक्टोरियल दैट वुड बी इक्वल टू वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फाइव वाई प्लस सिक्स नाउ डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई वाई ओके सो इफ आई विल डिवाइड बोथ साइड बाई वाई देन इट विल बिकम वाई माइनस टू इक्वल टू वाई प्लस फाइव प्लस सिक्स ओवर वाई यू कैन ऑल्सो चेक फॉर वाई बिकॉज वी हैव डिवाइडेड ओके सो वॉट आई विल डू नाउ आई विल सी टू कंडीशन आई विल राइट एग्जैक्टली टू कंडीशन If you will observe left hand side, then it is having y minus one factorial. First point about left hand side we can write y must be greater than or equal to one. This is very strong condition because once it is less than one, y is less than one, then factorial would be with negative number. So that is not allowed, not in domain. Second point, left hand side should be if it is see y minus one. factorial is always positive number so left hand side is positive integer so right side hand should also match with positive integer it should be now you can see it is having no problem so far because y is whole number so y plus 5 would be whole number integer so this number will define or decide that right side should be positive integer so for that purpose y should be the factor of 6 which is less than or equal to 6 so from right side if this number has to be integer y should be less than or equal to 6 and at the same time y should be factor of 6 you can put 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 1 is accepted because that is that will give us 6 over 1 that would be integer 6 over 2 again integer 6 over 3 again integer 4 5 5 will be cancelled out ruled out from the list so if i will club both the conditions see conditions are y is greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 and it is less than or equal to 6 so if i will club then i will get y equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 out of these six numbers i will cancel 4 and 5 because of once i will put 4 and 5 over here then this will be fraction so due to fraction i can cancel 4 and 5 so i need to only check for four y values 1 2 3 and 6 what was our substitution we presume that x minus y equal to x minus 2 equal to y or x minus y equal to 2 both are same thing let's check now how we will check let me write here y equal to 1 2 3 and 6 then i will write here lhs okay then i will write here rhs okay so what was our equation actually that equation was 5 times y minus 1 factorial that is equal to y plus 5 plus 6 over y done let's put the value y equal to 1 so left hand side would be 5 times 1 minus 1 0 factorial so 5 rhs would be 1 plus 5 6 6 over you can put the value also you can write like this 6 y equal to 1 so left hand side is 5 right hand side is 11 it is not true so we can cancel this case now y equal to 2 5 2 minus 1 factorial again 5 it will give us i will put 2 plus 5 plus 6 over 2 
5 plus 3, 8 plus 2, 10. Is 5 equal to 10? No. So left hand side is 5, right hand side is 10. I will cancel this. Put y equal to 3. 5 times 3 minus 1 factorial, so 2 factorial, that means 5 into 2. RHS is 3 plus 5 plus 6 over 3, 2. So 10 is equal to 10? Yes. So I will write here 10, 10, true. And last case is y equal to 6. If I will put y equal to 6, then it will become 5 times 5 factorial. So it would be 120, that is 720. And RHS is 6 plus 5 plus 1, which is 12. So 720 is not equal to 12. So I will cancel this. So which y value is accepted? That is y equal to 3. So I will write y equal to 3. Now put back the value. See, we have to find out x value. So x minus 2 equal to y was our substitution. So x will come out 5. Now let's verify it. So verification. What I will do? I will write left hand side value. So 5 times 5 factorial equal to x power 4. So 5 power 4 minus 5 power 2. So if you will find out then 625 minus 25. So that value is 600. And if you will check the right hand, left hand side, 5 factorial is 120, 120 times 5. So 600. 12 times 5 is 600. So that means it is verified true. x equal to 5 is our true solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.